quite a lot of people are using loop on ground antennas um, for receive because you get lower noise with an antenna that's on the ground and with a loop. So I started thinking about whether or not you could use an on ground antenna for transmitting. Last year I did a brief experiment in the garden and um, it showed some promise. So as the weather was a bit better I decided to go out. Uh, I've done some video which I will overlay on this to show you what I did. So basically I had a 50 meter reel of wire uh, 3202 which is 32 strands of 0.2 millimeter PVC covered wire. Uh, I attached one end to a 9 to 1 ballon and then I rolled out a random length to the end of the garden which you will see in this video. Um, I then attached it uh, via a short length of coax to my antenna analyzer and it was showing uh, uh, quite pronounced dips on bands from 80 meters to 10 meters. So I did an SWR scan and on the higher bands it was uh, not needing a tuner on any of the bands. Um, so I thought I would get the HF transceiver out into the garden and have a go with this. So put it on 40 meters. Uh, the SWR was about two to one thereabouts. So it is because it, there was no line isolator in circuit here. Um, so there was a bit of um, stuff going on with the earth side of the power lead and things like this coming into the and and coming into the antenna system. So I used the auto tuner in the radio, uh, ran 10 watts on 40 meters, and I was hearing people. I'll put a video up at the end here of an Irish station. Um, I, running 10 watts, I got a 5-7 report from a station in Ireland uh, with the antenna lying on the ground. Now, several reasons for this. One, good conditions on 40 metres. But, um, with an antenna like this, about 90% of the power is being lost. And that's why the SWR looks so good, because it's a very lossy system. But the 10% of power that's going up the way, uh, being radiated, is going straight up, uh, which is uh, NVIS propagation, uh, near vertical incidence. So if I had a very low angle of radiation antenna, like a ground plane, and I tried to get a signal into Ireland, it's a bit too close in on 40 metres from my location in Scotland, and the signal, I wouldn't be getting very much at the right angle to get into there. So probably only about 10% of my signal from a proper aerial would actually be at the right angle to get to Ireland. So although this is a very lossy system, it's extremely low noise and it actually uh, gets a decent signal out there. Uh, you could hear the English station on here as well. I didn't record the QSO, unfortunately. I had uh, It was incredibly hot out there um, and my mobile phone was overheating, so I, I stuck it back in the house. The radio was overheating too. But I think this uh, certainly shows some promise for experimentation. And it shows you that you do not need um, any sort of uh, complex antenna system to be able to get some sort of signal out there. Uh, I hope you find this interesting. Um, and I will put the uh, Irish station on the end here so you can hear how strong he was. So 73s for now uh, from GM4SVM. Thank you. All the best. Bye-bye.